This is going to be the second part of section 3-2 out of your textbook, which starts on page 62. In our last, uh, the last part, we were looking at um, if-else statements that we created right here and got the spider robot to lift its neck up. We're going to look at another type of control structure called a loop. A loop is a way of creating repetition to get a program to repeat an operation any number of times without you having to simply repeat it over and over again. And what we're going to specifically take a look at is actually this part right here, which is the section where we get the spider robot to move forward and to get its legs to move. Okay. And if you recall, what we did is we added in this expression, this function, to create, used, a fun, used functions to create an expression, starry, to get the spider robot to move a specific distance that it would calculate so it wouldn't uh, so it would move right up to the rock without crashing into it. And I'm going to play the video. I know I've seen this a number of times. But what I'm looking at is that move to the rock. And what's not very satisfying is the way the robot looks like it kind of glides and the legs don't really seem to move with the robot very well. Like there, there isn't very much, um, it doesn't work very well. Now it seemed to look okay when it was moving just one meter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out this function or this expression. We're going to grab it and we're going to drag it up to the trash can so it's gone. Oh, I want the whole thing gone. Okay, And I want this to be just one meter, which is the default, so I'm going to leave it just the way it is. Because when it was one meter, which is what it was way before, the walk looks a little more natural. I'm going to play that again now, now that the function's gone. Okay, It looked a little bit better with the leg moving. And, it, and it seemed, there seemed to be a little bit more coordination between the moving forward and the way the legs moved. Okay. However, the spider robot didn't move very far. I would like it to move further. So what I would like to do is simply repeat this block um, a number of times. Now one thing I could do is I could copy and paste, copy and paste. And actually I'm only going to repeat it three times, so technically that's okay. But then the computer looks kind it looks kind of sloppy. The language is, or the program ends up being longer than what it really has, should be. But imagine if I didn't want to do it just three times. What if I want to do it ten times or a hundred times or a thousand times or a million times? And to be honest, in computer programming, although you won't be getting things to repeat a million times, getting getting computers to repeat some operation that many times is very, very common. And we certainly don't want to copy and paste this a million times. That would be ridiculous. So what computer languages do is they give us what we call a loop structure. And this is our loop structure right here. It's down here at the bottom next to the if else, which is the one we were looking at before. I'm going to drag this loop up to right before my do together. Okay. And then it asks, well, how many times do you want to loop? And I want to loop three times, which again is not one of my default. There it is. Three times it happens to be right there. So I'm going to, oh, I, yeah. So I'm going to type in three. If it doesn't come up with the three for you, you're going to have to hit other and type in a three. Okay. So now what I have is a looping structure, and it's going to do whatever is in this block three times. Okay. Now right now it says do nothing. What do I want it to do three times? Well, actually, what I want it to do is I want it to do this whole do together, which is the whole motion part that gets the robot to move forward and get the legs to move. So that's easy to do. I simply grab the whole do together by the bumpy bit and drag it up in there. Boom, like that. So now everything in there is going to get looped three times. All right. Let's see how that works. So I'm going to play that. Okay, and now watch the motion of the robot. So it's going to go one, two, three. So it's a little bit more a robotic motion. Might not be super happy with how the legs move. And by the way, although it's perfectly acceptable for you to submit it the way it is, the motion of the legs was meant to be deliberately simple. If you feel like you want to improve upon this, play around with it to try and get those legs to be a little bit more animated, by all means do so. You'll also notice that only um, two of the five legs that the robot has uh, moves. If you want to get in there and start changing the rest of the legs, go right ahead and knock yourselves out. But that is completely on your own initiative. If you want to do that, fine. If you don't want to do that, that's fine as well. All right. um, so that's really 
all we have for this video is just to show this. Actually, what we should do, because we've changed something quite a bit about this particular program, is I want to I want to add in a comment. Oh, go away. Uh, I'm going to put the comment right in at the top of the loop because now we got a reasonably complicated structure here, right? With a do together and there's do to orders in there, and that's inside a loop. And whenever we get anything that's a little complicated, that it's not immediately obvious what's happening just looking at it. Put, get in the habit of putting in a comment. So I'm going to add in a comment here. Uh, remember the comment block, by the way. I did that pretty quick. Is way down here on the right. So you just drag that up in there. And we're going to add in a comment here. Um, that spider robot moves forward three times, and it's legs walk with each move forward. So we got a little bit of a description of what's going on so that when someone looks at this code they can see what's going on. Uh, I guess that means I don't need this comment anymore so I'm going to drag that up to the trash can and there we go. Nice little description of what's going on with that looping structure. Okay, this is it. Save it. Submit to me the code. That's your assignment for this part.